And joining us now, Nick Bontis from the DeGroote School of Business to talk about this. Nick, I don't know if you've seen this show. I have not, but I went to YouTube and I saw some highlights of it. Well, good enough, but it really is a loss for our area, Nick. Is this just part of the price we're paying, though, for our high dollar? Yeah, you know, this is, I think, a very sad story when it comes to what's happening with the currency fluctuations. Uh, the, the production of uh, Cirque Niagara started in May 2006. If you compare what our dollar was back then compared to today, it was, you know, about 84 cents back then. It's about a buck three today. That's about a 20% difference, a 20% currency squeeze and uh, you know people understand that you know the price of a ticket is this high and the costs of production are this high and if the owners and the production company didn't account for a 20% variance in the currency which I'm sure they didn't you know this has gone and caused the problem so I'm afraid that this is one of the sad stories when it comes to currency fluctuation what about the tourism uh, industry generally on this side of the border are we going to be seeing more of this you know, unfortunately, I think we are. I mean, I happened to uh, cross the border uh, into Buffalo to do a little bit of shopping myself over Thanksgiving weekend, and I must tell you that the lineup going was, you know, six, seven times longer than the lineup coming back. And at the mall there, it was all Ontario license plates. I think what we have here is a perfect storm. So you've got the high Canadian dollar. You also have, you know, passport confusion on the U.S. side. A lot of Americans don't know, do they need a passport to come now, or do they only need a passport when they're flying? And then we still have gas prices volatility. I mean, if you recall a few years ago, gas prices were as low as 80 cents. And if you remember that one summer in 2005, they shot up to a buck 30. And now they're kind of uh, hovering around the 95 cent mark. So you put all those things together, it's a perfect storm. One other thing I think is causing a problem, especially with border towns. If you compare Niagara Falls to Windsor, both of them were very, very successful with business. And then something happened. The American side built a casino. So Windsor had their casino, Niagara Falls had their casino, and now there's a casino on the American side of Niagara Falls and now there's a casino on the Detroit side across from Windsor and the casino has a lot to do with uh, how many people are willing to come over. What would be your best advice Nick to Peter Mercanti and the other people behind Cirque Niagara specifically? Could it rise from the ashes? Yeah, you know I, I feel sorry for Peter Mercanti. He's a fantastic businessman. I've met him. Uh, there were 70 employees involved with the production and all of them now uh, you know are out of job. They were very very talented. Like I said it got rave reviews. I saw it on YouTube. But, you know, they need to reinvent themselves. I mean, and the good news is that Cirque du Soleil suffered from the same problem, and they reinvented themselves. Now, mind you, they had to go down to Las Vegas to do so. I'm not suggesting that Peter moves the whole production down to Las Vegas, but the reality of the situation is timing. The timing was off. It's too bad he launched, you know, a year and a half ago. Could you imagine if he had launched back in, you know, 2002 when it was 60 cents to the dollar? He would have made much more traffic coming up uh, uh, through from the U.S. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to tell Peter, you know what, hold on to all the contact information of your employees because the business cycle goes up and down. You never know what's going to happen in the next five to ten years. Maybe our dollar will drop again. Maybe even there will be no such thing as a Canada-US border in the next 15-20 years. So anything can happen. Well, let's hope it doesn't kill the entrepreneurial spirit in the meantime on this side of the border. Thanks so much, Nick. Have a good weekend. You too. Thank you.